I think every time you wake up, go to sleep, any time of the day or night, action is one word that keeps playing in your head. No, yeah, it's not yeah. new. Yeah, I think probably my one of my most favorite words. Yeah, action. <laughs> you know, you just said a little while ago. Um, I can say my dialogues well, but I don't think these kind of things that you ask me to do, I can't read out those lines <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. No. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, comment. What's the right order? Even <laughs> 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 anyway, I don't know, but I know I get yeah. you. <laughs> Vicky, from your very first film to what you're doing now, umpty number of genres that you've tried. Okay, it may may not be a conscious effort, but you seem to be thoroughly enjoying everything you do, and you don't even care about whether or not the film bombs or does well or is super successful, gets you awards which you have already won. So this journey, how has it been for you? Oh, it's been uh, amazing, really. When I started off. If anybody would have given me a blank sheet of paper to write down what my dream work would be like, I think I wouldn't have had the guts to write down actually what ended up happening. Ah. In, in all these years, I've been very, very fortunate to work with the kind of directors I got to work with, the kind of films I got to be a part of, and all the love that I've gotten in so so many years. It's just like you know, it's been way beyond. You know what I ever dreamt of. Yeah. So every day is a blessing. Every day is I'm feeling like he, you know, it's great here. Yeah, it's great. I got to be a part of this film also. I'm getting to do this also. So it's Touchwood being like a like a beautiful journey. Too. Yeah. I mean, I still remember Masan. Mm. I still remember everybody, all of my friends, including me, talking to me about, oh my God, that guy, that boy, Vicky, he stood out in that film, mm. and it was sort of the start of a new wave because again. um we're looking at someone who is um, absolutely unpredictable on screen hmm. and what you brought on board was so good i remember everyone talking about you for really really long and so very happy where you are from there to how many things you have achieved i think here yeah, i think it's all these well wishes that <laughs> somewhere land and kind of like you know work uh, in your favor that you the know, universe people, is always yeah, at work yeah praying for you and some somehow relating to you and being happy that okay this guy is doing well i think it's that happiness put together reaches in the universe in the right way that you know uh, i get to kind of uh, live that dream today <laughs> so thank you to everyone for that you know i don't want to put you in a spot but among all the genres you have tried till date is there a favorite if you have to pick my one? personal favorite is action Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when I got to do action in Uri, I was like, yeah. I was like a kid in a candy store. So I was very <laughs> happy. I was really very happy, and I can't wait to do an action film again. But uh, yes, action and uh, music. These two things are something like something I really enjoy as an actor. You know, I must mention that your moves in the Kanahiya on Twitter wala song <laughs> is amazing. Better than what I have seen you do before. Sweet, of course, you have done very good moves, but this one somehow stands out. Yeah, it's sweet. It's it's like <laughs> it's uh, when I saw the choreography for the first time. Uh, shout out to Vijay Ganguly, who is the choreographer of the song. I instantly had a smile on my face. I felt like you know, there's there's Kanhaiya ji ka move also, <laughs> and then there's Twitter ka typing also, and then there's <laughs> you know everything. So it's just it's catchy in a way which I feel, mm. uh, and uh, and I thought it was like simple in a way where everybody could feel. like doing it themselves yeah, yeah. so i guess yeah it goes well with the song and the impact twitter has left on us we are not forg- going to forget twitter anytime soon although the names <laughs> have changed now yeah i think i was joking around that you know uh, <laughs> uh, elon must have come to know that we are calling kanhaiya ji on twitter so he changed the name just to <laughs> confuse things over here but uh, but i think uh, twitter is in much need for some you know yeah. divine intervention uh, oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Speaking of this film now the great indian family it's yes. out and out comedy yes and i love i love the character actors you have around you no oh. each one of them has done some amazing work in the past and i think when a film or a story needs to be told when you have such a tight cast it just uplifts you what was oh, your experience 100% it was for me as an experience firstly this film was shot when we were like you know just out of covid so ah. we were like sitting ducks in our homes for like <laughs> months and I was, we were like we didn't even know if we going to get back to work yeah. you know yeah. that's where we were and then this was the work that i got back to immediately after nice. that so it was like tears in our eyes that we just <laughs> hope we are back on set we are back on set but all these stories and everything the vibe on set used to be so amazing and like you know we had a we had a big house with a big veranda that kind of a set correct and it's a small town story so every time we would be shooting we would hardly go back to our vans mm. because we would just jam our 
session over there only <laughs> ke acha hai we are not coming in your field that's fine and then we would just be chit chatting so much that the chief ad would be like sir the others are working <laughs> so, <laughs> so so but we would forget that but i think that ke- that eventually leads to like the family dynamics Correct. family chemistry in the film mm. and uh, overall i feel that when when you're just going through a process which is enjoyable mm. you're enjoying i think at least for me the best work comes out like Absolutely. you know you can you that you can feel that energy yes. through the screen so i guess fingers crossed but i guess that is what uh, the audience would feel when they feel, see the film must have brought back a lot of memories so did that did you also tap into that when you were doing this film oh, especially your role 100% there were so many times like the character i'm playing bhajan kumar is that quick essential small town rock star yeah. who would just yeah. make your jagrata <laughs> a night to remember yeah. you know yeah. uh, he's called for ghar ki shuddhi birthday party mundan mundan <laughs> everything you know uh, so uh, so uh, for me it was uh, back in the time time like when i was a kid I we used to accompany my mom a lot for these jagratas yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. uh cribbing not to not wanting to go there but then eventually enjoying it the most so um, so I think uh, yeah because it's good to, music oh it's great music <laughs> and uh, it's that you know it's that unique mix of a uh, devotional songs plus bollywood you know, it's just this got this weird tempo to it <laughs> so uh, so i think uh, yeah i really enjoyed doing that and also just checking out lots of youtube videos of the jagrata cultures these days Correct. and uh, the artists i love the look days. also yeah. that you've uh, portrayed in the film i yeah. mean bhajan kumar It's is fun. a very typical small town look yes, and uh, again very uh, away from what you've done in the recent past yeah, at least yeah yeah, yeah. it was nice no, i've never nice done see. anything like bhajan kumar before <laughs> i mean he's got no, the nice the look some characters yeah. but uh, but like the look and the milieu and everything yeah. is quite fresh yeah. yeah that is so cool now the great indian family also brings back i think uh, it's time and again nice to remind yourself and also the audiences that we have this value system in yeah. india that yeah. we celebrate every yeah. now and then yeah. we've got festivals that never end yeah never. you know one after the other never. but we're also looking forward to it we yeah. find that as an excuse to maybe not go to work 100%. or stay back and so on and so forth so um, that essence yeah. that this film is putting out there Uh, what do you want to say about that? No, it is for me is that you know, and, and, and I'm happy that it's coming this month, which is like the beginning of that festival. It's just one marathon. after the other. It's, it's just one rattling off. <laughs> one after the other. It's going to be this and then that and then yeah, this and yeah. then that. So, uh, so yeah, so this film is coming, and I feel uh, the Great Indian Family as a title is so apt because yeah. I feel India is like one big great family, Correct. which makes us unique, which makes us special, which makes us uh, beautiful. you know small town film stories or small town stories for that matter are so many that are being told on every platform and now more so we are seeing those kind of films coming yeah. also because there are so many stories untold in the past we did not pay attention to and it's very important to bring them yeah. to the forefront which is what you're doing which is what many others even the earlier films that you've done recent yeah. past also uh, have been around that so uh, the storytelling or the stories that come from there uh, What are the similarities did you see in your city life and in the small town kind of life that you explored maybe even if even if it was just doing the film I think it's firstly the culture is something that you know it doesn't matter what social strata you're from Uh-huh you know that culture is still there Okay you know tomorrow you can be the Ambani or you can be the complete <laughs> opposite of that It's In fact your announcement uh, reel that was yeah. out I mean yeah. I saw that and I said oh my god this is so good Yeah <laughs> Although I didn't find the official trailer there was some It's other It's not out yet Yeah there yes, were some other things the, in the name of official trailer yeah. and I kept looking for it and I no, said no, no. but then the announcement Yes so there's uh, just you know, the video came out and that is out and this song that we have put out Yeah and the trailer will be out soon Oh but that date announcement thing is going to stay with me because I loved the way you tried to bring in everything and i think it kind of says a lot about the film also yeah it does you know the tonality of the film yeah. the humor that it brings yeah. to the fore all that comes out and that's amazing so definitely looking forward to this film and all the very best thank you so much thank you so much i uh, hope uh, people do come and watch and enjoy this film the great indian family on 22nd september in the cinema halls yay but before we close i have some quick fire of questions course. for you great let's go <laughs> any favorite international actor that you've looked up to or you really many, like watching many uh, Denzel Washington is my ah. like favorite I love him Tom Hanks uh, Tom Hardy right um, oh Tom Hardy huh Killian I Murphy. like that pick yeah. Killian Murphy why not yes why not 
Uh, speaking of travel now, let's switch straight to that. If there are places that you want to tick off your bucket list, I'm sure you've written them down. We all do, mm. or at least it's in the high mind. Uh, two places that you would really like to visit. Uh, two places that I have not visited yet. That you have not okay. visited. Okay, so yet. one would be Bhutan, definitely. That like tops the list. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And second, it has to be outside India. Oh, uh, it can be anywhere. No, okay, no, so Bhutan and Leh Ladakh. These oh, two places I really want. Nice. Bhutan on the happiness index is right on top. Yep. And you want to go there and see why they are so happy, right? Yeah, happiness, and also <laughs> I've heard like the air is very clean. Yes, and it it's is. It's just been like on that list like forever. So I just <laughs> want to like make that tick. When it comes to adventure mm. activities, mm. what are some of your favorites? Oh, I'm not a very adventure adventure kind of guy. Uh, for me, like trying out like. Uh, Like unique food and everything is just the max of like adventure. <laughs> I'm not the guy like bungee jumping and this. And oh that really? No no no. I'm not that guy. That but, much action you don't want to do. <laughs> but again on that bucket list, there's straight like skydiving. I want to. Oh. There's something like skydiving. I don't know why. I don't have like fear of heights or anything. But skydiving is one thing I really want to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Dubai is one of the places you should try. I've heard about it. Or yeah. maybe Austria. Okay. One of the two places that you should go and try. Oh, oh, oh. Austria. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, speaking of um, one of the things that you carry with you, it's always on you. You can't just do without it. What is it? Sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> always. Looking forward to the great Indian family and not forgetting to play Kanhaiya Twitter pe aana for Janmashtami. Twitter pe aaja. Aaja. Haan. On Janmashtami, yes. that has to be the top song playing on everybody's playlist, no? Oh yes. This is very fun. catchy. It's a very nice. Yeah. Tune. Yeah. It's like it's it's fun. It's peppy, and uh, yeah, it'll be great to play that song on that master me because it's it's like a foot tapping number. <laughs> Thank you so much once again Thank for your you. time and all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ninety four point three Radio One.